Hey tubers, I got a special treat for you today. I was about to head to work on my special project. You'll be seeing videos about that in the future. But uh, got the call from Finley B. Haven't seen him in, God, five, 10 years. He wants me to meet him, shoot some guns. So uh, go into the range, maybe even get a little video time, see what Phil's got for good guns. We made it, it's not raining, we're at the range. And uh, wait till you see the damn guns that Phil brought. Some fine, fine weapons. And of course, I'll show you the fine guns that I managed to scrounge up and shoot with. Okay. And as you can see, we pretty much got the place to ourselves. We've set up some targets and uh, we're down here looking good. All right, let's check out Phil's collections of ARs to begin with, see what we got here. Okay, the first one is a nice little AR variant. What's this, the pistol, mm -hmm. they call it type? 300 blackout. Three In 300 blackout, mm -hmm. this thing? Oh, wow. <laughs> Why did you go 300 blackout instead of uh, 223? Well, they say with a shorter bullet that the 300 blackouts work better. I mean, with a shorter barrel. Oh, the shorter barrel, the 300 yeah. blackout works better. Yeah. And but, it's a slower moving bullet. You get subsonic ammo for it, and I can take that off, put a suppressor on it. Now, you're going to get the permit for all that? All you will hear is a bolt rack. Are you going to be getting a permit for that? I'm think, thinking about it. Let's see it. how the money goes. Yeah, I know. I know. It's just a permit and an inspection, and you're there. Yeah. Now, this one here is another AR yeah. in... 6.5 Grendel. 6.5 Grendel. Yeah. And see, this one's already threaded. For the threaded barrel. For the, uh, suppressor. suppressor. Carbon fiber on the stock. Yeah. <laughs> so, just the rail back here. And this is some other kind of mounting system that go to the carbon fiber. You know, like your uh, sling slug. And what the hell is all this shit, Phil? Well, like is that like a balancer or adjuster? Yeah, like say, I can put this in the right Oh, oh, okay. Get it lined up with the thing and then, you know, oh, all right. side it in and shit, you know. Very just nice. Just up and down. Yeah, I know about the regular adjustments. Yeah. I had just never seen this little thing here on the yeah. back. <laughs> Phil, you got it all. Now, what kind of scope are we pushing here? That's a Tritogen TA-55. And what's this thing on the top telling me? This doesn't have a battery. This is like uh, got uranium in it. <laughs> it's like how this works. Look through it. Oh, I will in a minute, but let's look at this fine weapon here, too, before we go. All right, this one's just uh, a Bushmaster Vomiter 223. And that's a range finder scope on it. It'll give you the yard or the meter or yardage to the fluted barrel <laughs> and I guess all these things are like friggin you know one inch groups they do pretty good wow I mean, I'm getting them all sighted in pretty good cool so. cool <laughs> okay and over here I managed to scrounge up uh, you've seen it before probably but my Remington uh, pump action 22 and then we've got a real old 80s version of a mini 30 and 762 I'm shooting surplus ammo, getting maybe a 10% failure rate today. Who knows? Maybe I didn't store the shit right. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to keep shooting. There's the range, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Hey, tubers, I'm giving you the wrap up report on this shooting. You know, my little trip shooting. <laughs> yeah, right. Went to the gun range. You know, you just saw the video, or you will see the video. I'm not sure how I'm going to put this in. Um, I'm going to put it at the end. So, you've already seen the guns. I got to tell you, Phil's ARs, they're just too damn easy to shoot. Some of the scopes are just a little screen, little square with a dot. Some of them are just the friggin' really high powered scopes. The truth is he's got all them bastards scoped in at a hundred yards, okay? There's three little gongs, you know, saucer size. 
as fast as I can pull the trigger and hop from one to the next. I'm going boom, 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 boom. Now I got to tell you, the Mini 30, pff, I wasn't hitting for crap with the iron sights, which I don't really think they must have been out of adjustment just because I hadn't shot it in friggin' forever. But uh, I got to put a scope on that bastard. It's got to be my eyes, okay? Because like I said, I picked up Phil's rifles. If I could see it, put the dot on it, and the triggers, like butter smooth. Now I must say at the end of the day, I think it was the Grendel or something was glitching up a little on him, but it could be dirty. He put a few hundred rounds for each one of them. Uh, Mini 30 reliability. Well, I'd say I ran 150 rounds or so through it. I had maybe six, you know, hit the primer, nothing. And, uh, I don't know if this is safe or not, but for some reason I picked up one of the rounds, empty magazine, put the round in the magazine, put the magazine in the gun, chambered the round, pulled, bam, reshot the round. So I started picking up all them spent rounds and one at a time, every friggin' one of them fired off. If anybody out there in YouTube world knows anything about this, I mean, I don't think I'd want to have a full mag of already popped primers, but the first one on the rack, or, you know, one in an empty, so, uh, all my bullets fired. But uh, the reliability with the Mini was no problem. I didn't have any jams, I didn't have any, though I gotta tell you, if I'm at the range, I've completely forgot about this. I have got to be on the far right side. Because the truth is, this thing, I mean, the ARs all seem to throw their shells pretty well down. The friggin' Mini is just flinging them up in the air like four or five benches over. So, uh, you know, they're coming out and over. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, might affect something you put a scope on it, but I don't think so. We'll see. But uh, regardless of that, I'm putting a scope on the Mini 30. In fact, my plan is I'm going to, uh, I got a 338 Winchester mag that I hardly ever shoot that's got some friggin' scope on it. I don't know. It was a gift came. I'm going to pull the scope off of that bastard. I still got the scope rings for the Mini 30. And I'm going to put that on the Mini 30. And uh, I might even scope out the friggin' uh, the little Marlin. Maybe my eyes are just not good, but man, with a scope, you know, properly scoped rifle at 100 yards, it's nothing to shoot. Iron sights, I suck. But uh, scoped rifles, really, I, I think I should step up into the old man generation. Anyways, those guns of Phil's were really nice. Some of those scopes cost more than the guns. But what the hell, he had 223, he had that, you know, and that 223 was a Bushmaster, I think it was the third rifle you saw, it was a Bushmaster 223, had a fluted barrel, just a really nice friggin' rifle with a smooth trigger. Now, the middle gun, I believe that one was the uh, 300 Blackout, and it had the friggin' some kind of by rest pod coming off the bottom of the uh, buttstock. And then the other one was the 223 Grendel, must be some little sh short cartridge. And that was in the uh, pistol type AR, which it really looked like a shortened shoulder stock. That was not a shoulder stock. What that's supposed to be is some kind of friggin' grip thing that you put on the end of your arm. You hold it, the the stock and then you put the damn thing on your arm and you kind of wear it like you're a cyborg. There you go. The cyborg model. I've coined that term here first. If your AR is one of the little itty bitty ones with the wrist strap thing, it's the cyborg model. Remember, cyborg model, you heard it here first. Okay, but really, really nice guns. I'm putting some scopes on my guns. I plan on going back there. It's a little bitty range in uh, Danville, Danville, Virginia. Didn't even know it existed. Nice little place, quiet, and uh, I enjoyed shooting there. Probably going to try to get the boys to go sometimes. 
Well, listen, uh, I can't dick around all day because I have to, got to get this store open. And uh, see you later.